Come on, we need a countdown. Give me a countdown. Daniel Bjorklund from Sweden. Give him a round of applause. Ticket number 19809. I hope you're all from Sweden. Daniel, where are you? So I'm just here giving the bike a final clean before Daniel comes and gets it. I'm going to pick him up from the airport and uh, yeah, introduce him to his new bike and uh, let him have a ride on it and take it home. September 2023 and I'm just on the way to the airport to collect Daniel the competition winner uh, for the competition that I did for the opportunity to win many prizes but the first place was um, the bike 732 factory rally adventure bike and uh, he won it so we made the draw at ABR festival we had uh, lots of people involved with 11 prizes in total uh, I made the draws at the ABR festival, those that you can remember, um, and yeah, it was just a great thing to do. We raised almost 20,000 euros for good causes, which uh, is something that I'm looking forward to doing moving forward. I'm already planning some of that, so I can't wait to share that with you. But today is all about Daniel. Daniel is the lucky winner, um, and yeah, we're going to go pick him up from the airport and go show him the bike, introduce him to the bike for the first time, have a chat with him, um, yeah, just enjoy the day together. Thankfully the sun is shining, so hopefully it stays that way so we can experience some nice weather here in the UK and uh, he has a good ride on the bike without getting soaking wet. So he's going to ride the bike back to Sweden, but I'll let him tell you more about that when we get in. All right, let's go get him. I wonder if uh, Daniel is sunk in yet that he's actually going to pick up this bike that's worth about 50,000 euros. It's a pretty special day for him, I would imagine. One 25 pound ticket. And he won it. <laughs> Let's go find him. So just showing, uh, showing Daniel the British landscape here. A little bit different to Sweden. Okay, so here we are in the car. Welcome, Daniel. Just picked you up from the airport. How does it feel flying to a country to pick up a bike that you've won over a competition? Yeah, it's still really crazy. I've been thinking about this so long now. A couple of months since the actual uh, competition ended, and I'm uh, finally here. And we actually made it. Yeah. Being able to pick it up. Yeah. On site as well. So I picked him up. We're going to go look at the bike, go right through the bike, hopefully get out for a ride. It's actually quite a nice day here in the UK today, so a bit of luck we'll be able to get out for a ride. Um, yeah, I think uh, I think it will be a good day. Now, before we uh, leave from the car, we might as well just talk about this. You bought one ticket, correct? One ticket, yeah. One ticket for £25 and yeah. he's coming to pick the bike up today, so how crazy is that? Um, you're a motorcyclist yourself, so yeah. you've got a 701. Yeah. Uh, he's got enduro bikes, and yeah, he's. Uh, we've just been chatting in the car a little bit, and he's into fast cars and bikes as well, so it's pretty cool that yeah. somebody has won the bike that's going to use it. 
Great. It's, it's gonna be great to see it. Yeah, well, we're gonna see it very soon, so let's hurry up and get home and go, go see it. Yeah. Ready? <laughs> I suppose we should absolutely do a handover of the key. So this is officially your key. Thank you so much. Well done. <laughs> Good to be here. Now just to ride it and enjoy it. left now is to start it. All right, Daniel. I hope it starts. <laughs> I hope too. Yeah. picked a nicer day so first impressions it's such a difference from the 701 it's amazing really <laughs> yeah really <laughs> stiff and you when you stop on it it's yeah it's gonna take some getting used yeah. to but uh, do we have to stop here or can we continue <laughs> <laughs> we can continue let's get a drink and carry on yeah it's gonna be great good i'm glad you like it <laughs> so how's your First experience of uh, the food here in the UK. Where would, where else would I take you, but fish and chips stuff. Fish and chips. <laughs> so, fish and chip experience for Daniel. Yeah. Thumbs up. Great. Very really nice. I have to say that is one of the best looking bikes here. Even though I did build it myself. <laughs> oh look, the old PR Duke in the background. Two seven thirty twos and a lovely sunny British day. <laughs> so, here we are, it's Sunday morning. The sun is not shining this morning. Yeah. Well, not yet anyway. Hopefully it's going to shine for you today. Um, but you came yesterday, we picked you up from the airport. We had a good day, yeah, had some nice. food. Yeah. Managed to go through the bike and everything. We, uh, we managed to get out for a ride, which was really nice. I took a 732 Duke and you took this and it was your first time on the bike. I mean, how did it feel riding the bike for the first time? I, I've never ridden anything like it. I had a 701 as you know, but this is a totally different yeah. kind, kind of bike. Everything is different. Yeah. Power delivery and chassis and suspension is such a big difference, but it's amazing of course. It's, it's hard to explain to somebody and a lot of people know I built the rally bike to ride around the world. and. Until you've actually ridden one, you don't realise why yeah. and uh, and what went into it to make that bike so special. Yeah. So and I know that like you only rode it for like an hour with yeah, me. Exactly. You don't even get used to it. You've yeah. got to get used to it. Yeah. You've got to get used to the size and the feel and the suspension yeah. and everything. But give it a month or two, and you'll be will be blown away by what that bike can do. I mean, I raced it and everything, and this is exactly the same spec as Basel bike. So I'm sure you will have a lot of fun on it. Um, but um, yeah, tell, I mean, we've heard you've got a 701. Yeah. We know you're a little bit into adventure riding and everything. Yeah. Um, what are your plans for the bike? What do you want to do with it? Yeah, first of all, it's the traveling back home to Sweden. Yeah. Uh, now will be the next 
uh, get it into Sweden and so on. And that's uh, uh, that's a few days. So you've yeah, got two two ferries yeah. and some 600 kilometer sections in between, yeah, and it. yeah, you got quite a bit of riding to do. Yeah, it's going to be great, great time to get to know the bike a bit more and yeah. so on. And I'm, I'm one of those guys that want to kind of part it, tear it apart and get get yeah, into yeah. all the details, yeah. and so I can fix it if I need to yeah. on road. And uh, and then soon it's winter in Sweden, yeah. so it's going to be. Uh, a long wait maybe to the yeah. summer next year and get out, yeah. get out with it. Uh, but at the same time, uh, we have uh, two teenage boys waiting at home. They're okay. so, super eager to, to see it. Yeah, okay. And uh, they have been texting me and so on. And they want pictures of it. Okay, cool, cool. So, well, uh, you'll be home soon and uh, yeah. then you can let them have a go, right? <laughs> yeah, maybe as a passenger. Yeah. yeah definitely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that. But then looking into uh, trips uh, so uh, this will most probably take over the 701s when yeah. it comes to the traveling and adventure and exploring parts of course yeah yeah so it's going to be really really yeah, that's nice cool. and see and hopefully i will meet a lot of others out there yeah you will i'm sure that. i'm sure and um yeah make sure you send some photos so we can share some photos yeah, of, uh, of, uh, of where the bike is and what it's doing yeah. uh, i've prepared a little you've got it's got about what a good 10 hours before, 10, 11 hours before you get on the ferry tonight and uh, prepared a little route for him uh, through the Yorkshire Dales and across to the coast so before he gets the ferry across to Europe so uh, hopefully have a good little day out in the UK today yeah, and nice. uh, stop at some nice little rustic cafe somewhere yeah. and, uh, and enjoy your day but uh, yeah, I'm really happy the bike has gone to somebody like yourself that's going to use it. Yeah. That's. Uh, Bit of a worry for mine was like somebody was going to win it who didn't ride bikes and was just going to put it on eBay and sell it. So a big win yeah. for Daniel getting the bike and and I'm sure we're going to see some pictures and stuff of what this bike gets up to. So yeah, um, yeah I'm super happy, really, really it's good, amazing, nice. And it's been a really pleasure spending the day with you yesterday, yeah. doing the handover and everything. Yeah, and um, yeah, I just wish you all the best and hope you have a fantastic time with the yeah. bike. Thank you. So, Take care. Thank you cheers. so much. Thank you. Tell us what you just told me. Yeah, so this is actually what happens when you watch races to places. You get the climb, crossbow gear, and the city adventure boots as well. It's all over. You're basically a Linden. <laughs> I'm not a Linden. And now, but... and now you have a Linden bike as well. Yeah, I do. So <laughs> I have to grow up some days. <laughs> no, stay young. Stay young. <laughs> All right, time to go. Safe trip. Yeah, been amazing. pleasure meeting you. Thank you for everything. All the best. I enjoy the bike yeah. and have fun. Most importantly, and no, most importantly, be safe. Yeah. Thank so you. Take care. Stay safe and enjoy. Well done, Daniel. Have a great ride. Awesome to see it go to a good home. Thanks to everyone for getting involved, getting behind it and doing great things. To get the video out about this and then next up is all the good causes and what I'm gonna do with the proceeds. So I'm looking forward to sharing that with you. For now, he's heading north to Sweden. I'm heading down south to Spain. Back soon. <laughs>